Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV, where we're coming to you today live from DC connect in London uh, we're, and today we're we're talking to leaders from digital across the digital infrastructure industry and I am joined right now by Stefan Aspman who's the president of Munters thank you for joining us thank you fantastic yeah. to be here yes yeah, so great to, to chat with you and, and your team always uh, I think last time we we were chatting with Munters on JSA TV we yep. were talking about uh, some investment you're making in a factory in Ireland so getting right into it here I yep. thought we could just jump right in if you don't mind and, and let us know how is that project uh, progressing no thank you it's uh, progressing well uh, we're gradually moving in uh, by the end of this year so it's fantastic. Uh, yeah. If I look in the rear mirror, we acquired a company called Edpac a few years ago. And fantastic company, but it had clear limitations in the footprint and how we could actually scale. Yeah. So now, uh, by making this expansion in, in Cork, we are you know, ramping up to have the opportunity to deliver to higher demand. Amazing. And and so on that note, I just I want to back up for a second and, and just sort of think about, for, if you wouldn't mind, just for our audience's benefit, sort of talk about your footprint and where you know this is a factory in Ireland you mentioned you're based in Sweden but spend a lot of time around the world so yes. so tell us about you know where Munters is operating and and what the your growth looks like okay uh, Munters as a group is global right so they are all across but yeah. uh, if I look at data center technologies the business area I represent we have you could say the mothership in Virginia yeah in Roanoke where we have a, the largest factory we have in Selma Texas, uh, outside San Antonio, and now also in Cork then. And since this summer, where we announced the acquisition of Geoclima, we will be in Italy as well. Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And and I think, in yeah, in terms of that, so this acquisition, I think we just sort of alluded to that a mm -hmm. little bit, but you you can, there continues to be demand across Europe um, yeah. for, for Munters and, and across the industry, right, mm. that you're able to, to service. And, yeah. and so talk about how that most recent acquisition helps fuel that. Uh, good question. I, I think I can divide it into two parts. One is like, why did we go for Geoclima in this case as a specific company? Well, yeah. very much because we share DNA and how we approach the market, very much based on engineering skills, customization. They were pioneers in low GWP refrigerants and, you know, working with TurboCore. So they're really top shelf. Yeah. So we saw a perfect match. And then how it fits to our strategic agenda is really that we come from a niche excellence position. You know, we were really early on the evaporative cooling technology, and then we have gradually expanded the portfolio. So adding you clean and shillers makes us able to cater to the water shield infrastructure that we haven't been part of. I mean, we've been doing cross, but right. we haven't really had the fully fledged offering, which we now have. So right. that's from up for us. It's a key cornerstone in the strategic right. development. Makes a lot of sense, and yep. and so new factory in Ireland, exciting new acquisition. But that's not all, because I understand new news just came out a, an hour ago. Yep. Tell us about that news. It's a strategic alliance or partnership with Sudacore. Um, yep. As everyone knows, there's a big buzz about liquid cooling, of course, and it's yes. real. And yep. there's so many fantastic companies out there doing their own stuff. Most of them are on the one face side with water. And I would say fewer on the two phase with refrigerant based. Yeah. Uh, we have Cycle, that is a solution that is yeah. based on refrigerants, right? And with a thermal siphon technology. So pairing that up with the pool boiling direct to ship technology that Sudacore has makes a lot of sense. You take one super efficient system in an area, like a niche part of the market, and you combine it with another that is equally leading. So yeah. I, I'm bold enough to say this is going to be a game changer for high density environments. If you want to go that way with directorship. Amazing. Yeah. And so sort of zooming, I guess, out a bit, mm -hmm. <laughs> as they say, AI is just such a, a it's very topical mm. right now. It has been for a long time, but, mm. but, but right now sort of people are thinking about how are we going to um, sort of steward the growth of mm. this and, and all the infrastructure that's required. And, and so what, when you think about what AI's role is in the future mm. of di digital infrastructure, mm. what, what would you say? It's a big question, it right? It is a big question. <laughs> no, mean, no, but yeah. I think beyond the obvious with, you know, the energy shortage and the challenges and so on, if you look at how this will influence the industry, uh, I think we're going to see some supply chain pressure for sure. Everyone yeah. wants the same components and we see tremendous growth, uh, which is an opportunity, of course, as well. Uh, it's, it's a real opportunity for sure. Uh, so 
still we have to zoom out, as you said before, yeah. and look at like what is really driving growth right now. Well, not only AI. It's a promising technology. I'm sure that many of the data centers to be built in the future will be based on this kind of basic requirements of how you yeah. need to design a data center. But still, the growth as we speak, I would say, is you know, that's not where it is. It's more in the near future. So there's right. still a lot of cloud general computing growth also right. supporting normal everyday digitalization. So right. we need to be able to cater to both those needs at the same time and meaning you know, continue to deliver the base play and then do these leaps in technology and collaborate with great companies like we do today. Yeah, great point. So you, it, the industry needs to meet the needs of today while preparing for the needs of tomorrow and right. do those things simultaneously. It's, yeah. it's a challenge for the industry. But it is, for yeah, sure. It sounds like one that Munters is prepared to <laughs> to take on. No, we're well set up to do it. And yeah. I think it's a, it's a great industry to be in. I think a lot of people see the sense making in being collaborative and learning about technologies and there's a yeah. lot of market share to go for for everyone so yeah. we just need to find the best solutions to, to cater to the customer needs yeah amazing well any parting words i know we're still here it's the morning of day one um is there you know anything you'd like to say to our our guests or any ways that you people could connect with you if they happen to miss you while no, you're here i today? mean i'm happy to meet with anyone here i i do have the app and right? <laughs> i yes. think it can be used so Please reach out if anyone wants to talk about Munters or what we're doing with Pseudocore or Cycle, not at least. So please reach out. I'm here. Fantastic. Thank well, you so much for your time. Thank I you. appreciate it. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in to today to JSA TV, where we've been coming to you today live at DCD Connect in London. Stay tuned. Until next time. <laughs>